they were going to be pressing in some valve guides for a JH hydraulic lifter head. Uh, as you can see before and after, um, that's what it's supposed to look like. This is the valve guide. It has a ridge at the top to prevent the valve from the valve guide from going in too deep. Uh, you need a special tool to take them out to get them in. You don't really need this tool, but I used it just uh, because it fits so perfect and it prevents it from mushrooming out. That's how you remove it here. Uh, you push it out through the, the back side. And today we're going to be putting it in the other way, like so. And we will be pressing it in like that. When you're pressing these in, you do not want to overpressurize the press. You don't want to press too hard. You can warp the valve guides if you do it too hard. So um, we're just going real slow on this. I had to do a voiceover on this video today because there is a ton of noise in the background that I couldn't get out of the video. So, but we're using a 30 ton press here, going real slow. I'm actually watching the gauge up top here to make sure that there's uh, no excessive pressure. And as soon as that needle moves, I release the pressure from the piston and uh, retract the press. And that's pretty much it. It just presses it down. Now, when you're uh, done with this, you can test fit your valve guide and you're going to have to ream them out. Uh, the next video section of this, I will show how to do that. Okay, after we uh, pressed in the valve guides here, um, you can see that they don't really fit right. It's binding pretty good. This one's like okay, but it's still not perfect. Um, this one barely will even fit in. Um, the book says that you're supposed to hone these out after you've pressed them in. So this is what you do to do that. Um, need some cutting oil and a eight millimeter honing bit. Um, you can get them in a tap end or a drill end. Um, I would be using the mill, but for um, video purposes, I'm going to be just doing it with a drill because most people have drills and they don't have a mill. So um, what you want to do is uh, get your cutting oil on the valve guide and on your bit. And it's pretty much self-guiding. And there's quite a bit of brass on there. You want to clean that off for next time. <clears throat> I usually blow it out. And I'll probably hit it with some, uh, some cleaner too after this too. And then I test fit the uh, valve in there. I'm not assembling it right now. I'm just putting them in. So uh, just to double check the fitment. And as you can see here, there's no lateral movement or horizontal movement or anywhere. It's just up and down. It's pretty good. I'll do the next one here for you.
wrong one. Need a big bell. Pretty good on that one. And we'll do the last one here. You should only have to go through once. Um, you go through too many times and you're going to take off too much. So um, it's about as much. And there's, there's a little bit more of that brass inside too. So that's why you want to blow it out and clean it out real good. I'll probably run a microfiber or something through there after I uh, do this. Uh, but before I lap the valves, which um, I'll do next, and um, I'll shoot another video of that. Um, one time I'll make a video of, of how you do it on the mill, but most people don't have that, like I said. And um, um, This is actually pretty easy um, to do it. It's much easier doing it this way, where a mill is, you gotta set it all up and have jigs and stuff for it, so. That's how that's done.